not what, what they have. But seriously, I'm glad to be here because I think that the design of this airplane is meant to accomplish several important things at once. First of all, it's meant to give prototyping a good name again. Second, it will allow innovative ideas which are too advanced or too unknown to be incorporated into a production program to be tested out in the proper way. Third, it allows a contractor, in this case General Dynamics, to use its own initiative instead of being constrained to fulfilling a long and detailed list of restrictive specifications. The aircraft we see here today is not only a testimony to the good work of all the people here at General Dynamics and your suppliers, but also a testimony to the people at the Wright Field in the Aeronautical Systems Division. And I'd like to congratulate them at the same time as I congratulate all of you here at General Dynamics for this very significant event. Thank you all. Ladies and gentlemen, now comes the event for which we've all assembled. The tugs will be hooked up and we'll haul out the new prototype, the YF-16. This was the scene at the General Dynamics plant in Fort Worth, Texas, on December 13, 1973. Rollout of the General Dynamics YF-16 lightweight fighter prototype, making its public debut less than 21 months after the Air Force awarded the contract. Edwards Air Force Base, California. First full-scale test flight, February 2nd, 1974. In the air, 
90 minutes. Cleared all scheduled performance and system checks. Only three days later, a high-performance single-engine fighter flashes over the desert base at supersonic speed for the first time. Later the same month, the low-cost YF-16 demonstrates its high maneuver performance with wind-up turns to 7 Gs at supersonic speed. Flight tests continue. March 11. Another performance mark. The YF-16 pilot reports an airspeed of Mach 2, twice the speed of sound, at an altitude of 40,000 feet. Six different pilots flew the single-seat fighter during the first two months of YF-16 flight testing. They logged more than 30 hours of flying time, including one hour and 30 minutes of supersonic time. Results from the initial flight tests are in. The YF-16 is everything the designer said it would be. Its performance has either met or exceeded predictions. The YF-16 is everything an air combat fighter has to be. It is nimble, maneuverable, has fast acceleration. Pilots are impressed with its performance. They like the way it handles and the way it responds. Advanced technologies have been blended together in such a way that the result is high performance at low cost. The result is the General Dynamics YF-16. The YF-16, a scrappy single-seat, single-engine fighter, nimble and quick, with plenty of range and performance plus. The air combat fighter of tomorrow is here today. Indeed, the YF-16 is off to a flying start.